Good morning, everybody, and welcome to episode 243 of My Time at Porsche with Yolen. Let's not get run over by Gust. Hey, puppy, how you doing? I know, right? Let us give you an apple. I don't know how I missed you this morning. I think I missed the pig as well. So let's go find the kidders. Hello, kidder. Mom. Yeah, how you doing? I have a dragon here. Yeah, dinosaur. All right, Pinky, how you doing? You good? Did I give away all your fishies yesterday? No, I did not. Have a koi fish. I know, right? It's awesome. Linden, I did forget your breakfast. And Pigger, how are you? Yeah, would you like breakfast? You would like breakfast. I know, right? Morgan, how are you? Yeah, I have a ducky for you. Yeah, ducky, ducky, ducky. Here you go, have some breakfast. Alrighty, that's pretty good. Let's go talk to Gust. Darling. How are you doing? My mother is a very gentle woman. She is indeed. Did she teach you how to sew? Darling. You're welcome. Okay. Alright, that's taking care of the morning. Let's go see what the day has brought. Uh-oh. I sense a cutscene. No, I just sense a long beginning, but I do see an arrow on my screen. Like, isn't this pretty? You've got, like... Everything sparkles. Hello, photobomber pingy. Pinky, pingy, pinky. I'll get it right one day. Oh, I also need to fix the loyalty on my pony and the loyalty on my llama. Hey, Mulligan. How you doing? Have a pat. Yeah. See, nice of you to turn around so I'm not talking to your butt. And again. And once more for the kitties. Alright, so yesterday we put aroma apples in the feed box, as well as lettuce. And I'm hoping that uh, that sweetened up our pony. Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright, Fluffy, you're, you're making life awkward. Okay, so Fluffy is ecstatic, her loyalty is up, the shark's loyalty is down. Man, these llamas are such hard work. And the pony's loyalty is up, but it's still grouchy. Oh, I think it just wants apples or something in that bin. Let's go see if there's any mail. Hi, Django. I did not mean to encourage you by being nice to you. You just have to... Yelan, I have an urgent matter to discuss with you. Meet me at my place as soon as you can. Tell no one. Come alone. Oh, man. I have a really, really bad feeling about this. All right, tell no one, come alone. I mean, that man is not nice to anybody, and I don't know what makes me think he's going to be nice to me, but I tell you what, uh, I, I, I'm a little bit nervous about this. I've got my sword, so yay. I don't think I've got any healing items, though. This could be a problem. I know, instant suspicion. I don't feel special at being signaled out. I feel suspicious. Because I'm a nice person, and you know what happens to nice people. It's not good. Alrighty, here you go. Mason, how you doing? Good, you're here. You sure you weren't followed? Uh, yeah? You know one thing I don't much care for in Porsche? The weird mutant freaks infesting up all the caves and old world buildings. I was doing a bit of exploring around my house, house in the marshlands. Found a cave with a bunch of those freaks. As soon as I saw them, I cut and ran, but... I must have dropped my wife's amulet while I was getting away. Can you get it back for me? Sure. But First of all, that amulet is the only thing I have left of my wife. But the main reason I don't want other people to know is because the gem imbued into the amulet is extremely rare. Is a, an extremely rare concentrated power stone for the north of Sandrock. Say Gale finds it. Maybe he hands it over to the research centre. Maybe they destroy it while running experiments or whatever. Saying goes to the Civil Corps. You're the only one I can trust on this. Let me know when you find it. This one, I'll owe you big time for this one. Good luck in there and uh, thanks. Okay. Uh-huh. So do I feel bad about being suspicious of the man? No, I'm still suspicious. It's okay. Let's just sort everything up. We don't have a lot of space in our pack. Uh, that's going to give me hit points and stamina. 
Let's, uh, let's drop that down there. Let's see what else we've got on us. Okay, that's hit points. So we've got a few of those. Stamina. Okay, that's an attack buff. Okay, that's hit points. We're going to need that one. Whoops. We need the wiggly fish thing too. Stamina. All right, I know. I like I like oaks, but I like to be alive better. Uh, defense. Let's pop that up there. I'm going to beat them in that order. Okay, that's an attack buff. That's a crit chance. What was that again? That was hit points. Let's just put the hit points. We'll stack them. Let's eat that right now. I know, I'm, I'm a suspicious person. Look at this. Wow, he invited me to go look at a cave. Let's, uh... <laughs> yeah, I know, crazy. Where's my crit chance hiding? Right, what's that? That's a crit chance. All right, so the crit chance can go over there. All right, so look, I think I think we'll survive some things. I don't know. It depends how bad it gets in there. I'll sort everything up again, and I'll just see if there's anything else. Stamina, stamina. There's not a lot else on us that we can eat. I should have been instantly suspicious before. Um, I'm going to take the pig because it, it comes home, and, and you know what? If they If they break it, then I guess... We can turn it into, I don't know, something. Over there, huh? Oh, okay. No, there's a definite... Alright, so if I turn it, it's up that way. Alright. So what I'm thinking is we can either get to it by by going through the wastelands there. Or just go back out this way. What was he doing in those ruins anyway? Let's just keep it up in the air and try and just get through. I'm just hitting the space bar real well real rapid. Okay. Okay, we're heading in the right direction still. Okay. This is kind of interesting. That's a vampanda. They really don't like us. There's another one. Wow, there are a lot of vampandas in this area. And I haven't even killed any normal things. There's a crocs. They will eat us if they can. Because they're like that. They're hungry. And wear meat. That's easy. Ah, huh, this looks like our cave. All right, this is the best I can do, huh? <sighs> Freaky cave, the lost memento. I have a really bad feeling about this. All right, let's get this sword up. Huh. There's someone over there. Okay, I can't get out that way. Oh no, I can go down this way, okay. Oh, he looks a little unfriendly. Okay, and I think he had a friend hiding in the bushes. Here we go. Oh man, I hope these guys don't have relatives or I'm in trouble. Uh, what's my health like? My health is good. 
All right, well, I guess I guess it wants me to go this way. I'm going to smash these boxes up just as soon as I've dealt with tink Tinkle Toes here. Oh, and his flamethrower thing, because I don't want a s suntan. And maybe his zombified friends are here. Oh, a new dungeon. This is so awesome. Okay, let's, um... Nifty. Let's let's head back and just see if we can zap these boxes. Maybe after we've climbed up them, though. I mean, look at this. What's this say? Can I read it? No, why can't I read the book? I do not read from the book! Why not? A diamond. Yeah, that's not enough to... Why can't I read from the book? Whose book is it? Oh man, too many mysteries. All right, I'm going to see if I can smash up these crates now. Oh, no, okay, they are meant to be there for me to walk on. Oh, rude. I know, what do you want? To walk on them or to have treasure? Oh, it's a hard question. Is there fish in there? There's probably something in there that's going to eat me. Can I climb this thing? I don't know. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe if I climb over here... No, the answer to that is probably no. Okay, let's just the zippity be uh, up here. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna go there. Uh, that would be a no, no, you're not allowed to go that way. Fine, I hate you. Let's climb up this way. Nope, we no can climb up this way. Can I chop the? Can I climb the can I climb the thing? No, I can jump through the thorns. This is a good thing, or I would be needing new trousers right now. And not because I was scared, but because the thorns would have torn them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can too has the uh, I can too has the climb up that way. Okay, I get it. Okay, so they're not friendly, right? They're just not. Ooh, but they have treasure. And they share in a roundabout way. That is not treasure, that is a bucket. All right, let's go up this way first because it looks, you know, cute and fun and like I should climb it. What was he doing in here? Yeah, I know, right? So I can't... Okay, what, what about up here? Oh, I see. I see you. I can't get you. Why not? You're just not friendly. Hang on, I'm too close. Haha. <laughs> oh, that didn't do me any good, did it? I have a feeling this might be a two-part story, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I want to go see what I can see over here. So it's, maybe I can sort the sort the how to get to those other guys by going up this way. He looks unfriendly. He looks like he wants to give me a suntan. Ah, he does! No, rude! Stop it! Can I hit the box? I'm glad the box is there, I would have fallen in the water. It's just... Okay. This is a very windy cavern. to go all the way up there again. That is just rough. What do you think you're doing? Old way up the mountain. Ha! Gotcha. 
All right, that's that's not a way up. Uh huh. You want me to go down the portcullis? Because you know what happens with those things? They have a really bad habit of falling down on you. I uh, don't think I've got any options though. Let's just have a quick look and make sure I haven't missed anything that I might not be able to come back to. Yeah, like that chest over there. How do I get over there? No? Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to have to maybe... I'm going to have to come round to it somehow. And, and the way... Okay, no, no, I haven't gone this way. So let's just explore through here. I've been over there. Oh man. And I don't want to fall off the edge. Right, I got it. And I came down that path. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe I should eat something. Okay, maybe I should eat a lot of things. There, that's pretty good. Back to the sword so I don't eat something I don't want to eat just yet. Okay. Uh, Alright, so what we want to do is we want to go over this way. Wow, can I pick these? No. But I can beat these guys up. So here's the start. Let's get these guys. Those things are still freaking hot. And the other thing I wanted to check, and I'm pretty sure I can't do anything with these things, but I'm going to just grab my drill. Just pop that there. We'll just switch the honey down to here. All right, let's grab this drill and just see... No, okay, so there's nothing here I can really drill. Let's go back to the sword, because something tells me fighting with a drill is not a great idea. Can I... Alright, so I want to somehow get... Oh yeah, okay, so this is the way I didn't go. Alright. And then, then I can get into this space. Alright, so that's another... That's another space there. Ooh, so I have choices now. So what I might do is double back this way. If I can remember the way, I'm pretty sure I can. Uh-huh. And, and so this is probably where we're meant to go through first. I'm so just waiting for that colours to fall. I mean, uh, it's not a your wish is my command situation though. So like I'm really torn between going back and um, uh oh, all right. All right, so it didn't trigger and drop. Oh, all right, makes me wonder what I missed in there, but okay. So, like I said, I'm really torn between going back and giving Mr. Mason his amulet. And I'm also really torn between just seeing what else is in here. Because, I mean, it is one heck of a cave. Look at it. It's got stars and shiny bits and... I know, right? I'm pretty sure the game designers would have worked out that most players would have gone, Ooh, pretty! And, um and gone hunting, so I don't know, hopefully they plan for it and we won't be missing anything out too badly. And what these shiny things? Oh, this does not look good though. Oh, it's the exit? Where is it exiting to though? 
Oh, okay, no, I had to find it to get out. Well, that's just weird. Really? Okay. Um, I guess we take Mr. Mason back his amulet then. Oh, hopefully he won't try and kill us for helping him out. Oh, that's right, we're going to have to go around the long way. I knew that. Because I don't think there's any, there's any real way up. It's over there. Oh man, I, there's so much to explore in here. Okay, so it looks like there's some kind of invisible wall there and I can't just fly up it. Is fun. I like the dungeons. Oh, hey, I've never found this before. Cool. Alright. Oh, oh, I always love it when you find something new in a game that you thought you knew. Now, if you've ever watched me playing Pumpkin Days, you will you will know that this is one of the things that I really enjoy. Alright, let's go find Mr. Mason and hope the nice man is a nice man and isn't going to kill us or do anything nefarious, but to be honest, I have my doubts. Just leave the pig a little way up. Alright, let's uh, take, a, take a gap. Hi! Hey! Yeah, Len, you son of a gun, you did it. I don't know what to say, you're one of the good ones, kid. I'm glad I met you. Really? There's a reward? I would have taken care of those freaks myself if the dang church didn't take my dang guns away, dang it. Can't say I care for the milky folks serve around here. Oh well, no folk, no place is perfect. Alright, so, wow, that was a genuine mason mission. Uh, okay. I'm a little nonplussed. Mr. Mason didn't set me a trap and he didn't try to kill me. And he's isn't up to no good despite everyone being mad at him. I don't know how to take this. I should probably take it at face value and just be grateful. Okay, we're going to try and climb and climb and climb. And because what I'm trying to do is head into the guild and I'm being really lazy about it. And we're going to try not to land on the statue of Peach or take out anyone's roof while we do it. Oh, wait, there's that a chest? Oh, where did I drop the pig? Whoops. Wow, completely lost the pig there. Where'd it go? Oops. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little upset. I think I vanished my pig. No. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't have a recipe for it, but that's okay. So Dr. Zhu, uh, Sonia, and um, Petra. Okay, so let's just escape out of that. And what we'll do is we'll see who we have the least social rank with. So Dr. Zhu should be somewhere in at the top. There he is, Dr. Zhu. Sonia is a BFF. Petra is a BFF. All right, so we're actually free to choose whichever commerce quest is best for us. Let's take these wicker baskets over to the nice lady. Pretty sure she has a, has a reason for wanting two wicker baskets for the restaurant. You never know. It's Sonia. So, hey. Hello, Molly. How you doing? Nice to see you. How have you been? Good. How have you been? If you ever get the chance to visit Lucian, I'll treat you to the best restaurant in town. On par with Django's. I promise. Cool. Nice to be back for a visit. I've been so busy lately. It's nice to finally relax a little. They've upped her dialogue. Nice to be back for a visit. Okay. I've been so busy lately. Well, I am so glad. Like, that's like three whole new things that she hasn't really said before, I don't think. Or maybe I should talk to her more often. Let's go chat to Sonia and let's go get our babies their toys while we remember them. Where'd you go, girl? Car? Don't you even think you're going out there? I heard that builders in town are working on some kind of like super massage chair. 
Isn't that like totally rad? It is. Hey! Here. Not bad. This is your commission fee. Thanks. You're welcome. Alrighty. Let's um let's go grab our kids their toys and do our hundred badges worth of shooting. So uh, first things first, the kids need toys. And do you know what? I think tomorrow is like the 26th or 7th. I don't know. I have to look at the date again. The 26th. So we've got uh, two more days before the uh, the nice man comes to town. today and again and again wow that is a very bad score let's try again man I keep that up and we're just gonna be here all night no one wants to watch 10 rounds of this right so we're at 16. Thirty-five. Ah, uh, what's that? Sixty-five, seventy-five, eighty-one. So this should be our last round. Oh man, not if I shoot like that. Please though. Oops. There was like a couple of extra badges there so like i said we're just trying to get the defense thing what i'm going to do is when the mystery man is it the mystery man who has the pet beds or is it the um the harbor we might go check the harbor out tomorrow i'm going to get some more ai chips anyway okay so we have done all the things we need to do and oh it's not really too late and probably yeah we won't get up to the church in time oh Dana excellent I can hey don't go anywhere I, I've got a chest of drawers for this lady hey Dana how you doing what are you up to now well actually what I'm up to now apart from sneaking up behind you which is rude I'm up to giving you some wooden drawers it's a nice present thank you you're welcome Finally, everyone can rest easy. I can't wait for Moose's all-terrain massage chair to make it to market. I'm going to buy one for all my bros, if I can afford it. It was such an honor to take over the Portia tree farm. Wood is one of our largest exports, you know. It brings in a lot of money for Portia's treasury. Uh-huh. So for you, I heard you like these things. How thoughtful of you. I really like it. You're really welcome. Okay. Oh man. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head back down and get rid of my treasure. Um, I've kept Mason's secret. Hopefully it really is. Hey Toady, how you doing? Hey! What you up I had to? a fishing competition with Kiwa the other day. You guys drew again. Man, you are just going to have to work on that. Have a bubble fish. Thank you. Never expected you to give me this. You're welcome. Alright. So yeah, so I've done pretty much everything I need to do again and uh well that's it for day one i wonder what day two is gonna bring day one was pretty cool all right let's just sort everything out and we'll just see what we've got in our backpack we've got a lot of stuff in our backpack but it's okay all right how many how many um boxes did i have left to make too because we, we might just finish our garden real soon it's only a quarter past six but no excuse you know what we have three fish no, we have two fish in there that one was just too traumatized let's grab out one of these uh i do believe i saw a feed me box above one of those so we'll just just grab our number five and we'll feed a hundred into these guys We're probably gonna have to buy more fish food 
Yeah, definitely going to have to buy more fish feed. I'll try and remember that uh, tomorrow then. Because Sophie's closed right now. So. Alright, they're all happy. I love that the garden is so sparkly. Alright, let's go count how many of these boxes boxes we need. I think. So we need to find one, two, three more bits of poop. Let's, um... Man, I don't know what I did to the piggy. It just disappeared. So, three more lots of poop. And then, then, we can, um, I love this. You look out at Porsche and you can just see what you've done. And there's something about the lighthouse that is terribly cool. Hey, Mr. McD. Hi. How are you doing? My animals are doing great this year. Cool. I actually, uh, thank you. I'm going to exchange a bucket for poop collecting rice. I like You're welcome. Thank you. All right, what did I say? Three. So I need to find three piles of paddock, paddock presents. Looks like I'm only going to get two today. But that's okay, because I'm pretty sure if Oaks hasn't beaten me to it, the llamas will have dropped dung at some point during the day. Hey, pony. I don't think that pony likes me very much. That's okay, I've got broad shoulders. I can handle it. Let's go. I'm almost sad to be getting close to the end of this series, but I'm also excited to see what else is there. And I'm excited at the thought of starting a new one, which is kind of cool. But I have to finish Talina first, so when we finish Yelen, I'll be moving uh, to finish the House Flipper series uh, before I start a new Porsche series uh, for YouTube. So uh, when we finish Talina, I'll probably start a new Porsche series on Twitch, and then you'll see that as it completes a fortnight later. It does look very much like um, Young Oaks has beaten me to the poop collection. You've got to get up early to beat that boy. Alrighty, let's head back home. Uh, we'll check out the llamas and we'll see if we can possibly improve uh, the loyalty of Fluffy, who's now cooperating. Hey Fluffy, how you doing? I wish to pet you, you are a cute llama. Did I pat the horse this morning? I think I did, but we'll check anyway. Because uh, we've just got to improve the loyalty of these these guys. Because we can. I don't think I pat patted the shark either, and the shark was being a bit dopey on its loyalty as well. It was down to 99%. So we'll give it a pat just to bring it back up to 100%. See, they do turn around. I know, happy shark, pretty shark, nice shark. Babylon 5. Alrighty. I'll just check in with Hooligan. You are an attention hog, sharky babe. Let's check in with the pony. No, no, no. The pony, the pony, the pony, the pony does not want to talk to me today. Yes, it does. Ugh. But the stable won't let me. It's jealously guarding its charges. Fine. You know what? We are going to go home and pop the kids into bed because it's way past their bedtime. Little monkeys need to be asleep. Yeah, see, look, I'm home. You better go for it. Good morning, Gust. It's lovely to see My you. My mother too. is a very gentle woman. I know. She I'm just going to help help these little guys get to bed. Gus, grab Lyndon and pop her in her cot, will you? No? Fine, I'll grab Lyndon and pop her in her cot. There we go. Looks like the cat's abandoned the cat tree. I'm going to go find these animals a bed. And it is so nap time. Right. If you're liking the episode so far, please hit like, and if you want to see more, please hit subscribe. Uh, we are going to do another day and just see what this day in Porsche brings. 
But apart from feeding the children, which we need to do every morning, well, we don't, we could make them sad, but why would we do that? I know, right? Here you go, kiddo. You can have a caterpillar. <laughs> and, oh, thanks, Gust. And, Mama. yeah? You can have a dinosaur car. Darling. Fine. Uh, I think I've run out of fish for you, Ghost. I have run out of fish for you. Give me a minute, I will find you a suitable gift. But right now I want to feed the baby. Okay. Did I feed the fishy? Oh, uh, the kitty? The kitty gets the fishy. Alright, uh, I'm not giving you bubble fish because those are for Toady. I know, right? Where did the dog... There goes the dog. I'll try and remember him to this evening. I'll be like, didn't I feed you scraps? What a terrible owner I am. And he'll be like, yeah, but I was playing. I know. There you go, Pigger. That is such a happy little Pigger. Alright, let's go. We are going to go... You look... You, look at you there, standing there with that stupid grin on your face. Ha 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 ha. You don't even care, do you? You make me so mad. You think you can just come to Portia, build your little empire, become beloved by everyone, save the world or whatever? You're so selfish and you don't even realise it. This was my town and you ruined it for me. All my life, all my life I was picked on as a sickly child that always came in last at sports. My family was poor. Building was all I had. I locked myself away in my room studying all manner of subjects but slaving over blueprints and designs. Those kids that picked on me tried to apologise but I shut them out. I didn't need stupid phonies pretending to be my friend because they felt bad for me. I finally found something I was good at. No, something I was great at. Something I would never lose at again. That is until you came along. You beat me at everything, no matter how hard I try. No matter how many late nights I toil in the work workshop, you still beat me. I sacrificed everything to be the best builder and for you, it's easy. How do you, how do you even have time for all that? I sacrificed everything to be the best and now I can't even have that. You took everything from me. You took everything from me. Uh, I'm just going to give that man a hug. Uh-oh. Don't look at me. Wow, Higgins. Thanks, Russo. I'm a little bit... I, I don't know. I, I think I need to go find Higgins. Got no orange circle. Wow, Higgins. Well, the pig came back from wherever it vanished to. Pretty sure I can run that man down. We're going to go find him and, and... I don't know. There he is. Like nothing happened. Impassioned speech and all he's doing is running straight to work. I want to grab him. Come here, you. <laughs> Hi. What is it? Time is money. I don't have all day. Well, at least you're back to normal. Ooh. And it's Friday, and that double S is mine. So there. I know, I know. What is wrong with me? That poor man is broken, and I stole the best commission. You know what, though? He's going to have to learn to deal, because he can be as good. He just has to, I don't know, do stuffs. I've got to think about this. Building two bus stations could, should, should make me work it out. That is a tough order, though. Why did I just take that? Because I'm so used to competing. Because he's a pain. Yeah, he does. Well, I get it. I do get it. Alrighty. Oh, excellent. When did I make those? Well, that's good. We'll grab those because we only needed three of them. Oh, when did I make them? Because I collected poop last night. What is wrong with me? 
Ah, uh, we need our assembly index and we need our bus stations. I know, I'm still really battled by Higgins. It's all good. Uh, why can I only build one? Because I need some more waterproof lamps. Let's go grab some of those. It doesn't come easy to do this. It's... It's... I don't know. You've just got to do stuff. Alright, I need, I'm just going to build another 10 of these because I can. Uh, I don't need another 10, but you never know what's coming down the pipeline, so... I want one more. There it is. Ooh, I've got two more out of that. That's pretty good. See what happens when you're patient. Alright, that should be enough to build two more bus stations. Two, not three. I'm not that, uh, that keen. Alright. I wonder how long it's going to take. Whoa, these things don't take long to go, do they? I suppose we could just stand here and do that, but do you know what? Rather than stand here and watch that, I've got some um, garden beds that need to go in. So let's drop those in. Not literally, because I'm, I'm not that silly. And I also need to... Large, small, okay. I also need to, um, I've, yeah, lost the plot. Oh, right. Ben Higgins, what are you doing to me? All right, uh, let's, let's grab some seeds. I might do something extra with those vegetable boxes at some point. Like, you know, grow vegetables. So let's just sow some flowers. All right, so that is my pretty flower garden, all done. And uh, I, I need to think about the more practical aspects. I was going to go buy some fish food, so we'll have a quick look and we'll see how our bus stations are going. You know, that's almost done, isn't it? Do I have any more fish food? At all. No, that sounds like it's finished. No, it's not finished. What are you doing? Okay, fine. I mean, I could go see what Mayor Gale's thinking. I know, I've got to give this man a fish. Chiwa, how are you doing? Or Kiwa. You're going to set the all-terrain massage chair next to the water and fish while you get a massage. That chair is going to be a game changer. <laughs> I'm Rodawa. Told me they had living guys for everything back in the old... Even fishermen, maybe. Even fishermen. You, however, deserve a special fish. Here you go. Wow! I've always wanted this! Thank you! You are so welcome. Toady! Hi! You hey. deserve a special fish. Hey, That doing? Starlight Island you see out there on the horizon is a great place to fish. Yeah, I, even though you've put big pink pooping birds on it, that you, you're right. It is a nice place to fish. We should go visit it. Um, here I have for you. It really fishes. is a nice present. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so um, all right. It looks like it's finally done. All right. Let's go get these commissions back over to Antoine. We should probably buy that man some roses. Where did... what did I buy? Oh, okay. I left the pig in town. See, I really was rattled by Higgins. Wow. All right, let's go and get some roses for Antoine and some paper flowers for the, um, for Django. And, um, and I don't know, we, we might just talk to Alice. Hey, how you doing? I have bought some of those and I'm going to buy some of those in the hopes that a certain tree farmer comes back to town. We need to make him feel welcome. Hey Alice, I must admit I do like the idea of sitting in a massage chair high up on a hill protected from the rain drops as I listen to the pitter patter overhead. Hmm. Hey, <laughs> do you see anything you like? All my flowers are freshly picked. Uh-huh. Alright, I brought for you one of these. I brought something of you. That's... you're welcome. 
Let's go catch up with Oaks. He, um, forget where he went. He's on my board now. I can find him again. Hey, Minister Lee. Oh, let's buy some baby formula. Yes. And I think I had more kingfish. If that lady's going to wave 130 something percent under my nose, we are so going to take it. All right, and I might sell these things because they're feisty and cute and worth a bit. I wonder how many of these things I can sell. You know, I'm not selling those. I will sell those though. Uh, Emperor Braid fish. Yeah. Wow. All right, well, my backpack looks a lot clearer. Oh, wait, that was a mackerel. They also like these things. Okay, let's just sort everything out. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so what we're going to do is, what were we doing? We were we were trying to find, that's right, we, we bought baby's milk and I have to go buy baby's toys and I'm being completely, hey Arlo, completely and totally sidetracked to me. Higgins, what did you do, man? What did you do? Hey Antoine, Higgins hasn't been his usual self. The 30 minutes he spends per day in the Commerce Guild makes me the person he spends the most time with, so I guess I know him best. Hello. Hey, how you doing? You're, you're very welcome. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, no, yes, yes, yes. I'm gifting you not my chainsaw, though, because that would be embarrassing and you don't really like them. Here, have that. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Uh, now this man, if I don't have a tea set on board... Hey, how you doing? The Commerce Guild is always busy. You do, huh? See, Higgins didn't even take the S-Class. He's really off his feed, that man. There's a tea set. Thank you so much. I really like it. <laughs> You're really welcome. If I hadn't had the tea set, I would have given him just a, um, a, so a grilled catfish. Because he likes those. Not as much as he likes everything else, but he does like those. Let's, um, I don't know, let's go see Ak. Hey, Ak. Hi. How you doing? I'm learning more and more about the world from Petra. You are. Uh, I brought you a pot because I'm about to ask you to wear yours out cooking for Gust. You're very welcome. Um, so, I've run out of breakfast for him and I probably should look after that. If, if I have the ingredients, which I may not. Mr. Ack, why don't you know how to cook this dish? I was pretty sure you did. Maybe I'm just zipping by too fast. No, it's not there. All right, let's have a look at Mr. Axe's recipe and just see if maybe I'm missing it because I'm not looking. See, no, that's that's not it. Okay. It's okay, Mr. Axe. I'm not sure why you don't know how to cook them, but that's fine. Where's um, where's Nora? M for Matt. Yep, she's up at the top of the temple tower. Of course she is. So I got this um, amulet for Mr. Mr. Mason. I've just given Higgins a much needed hug and he ran away. Not sure what to do about that. Um, he is an unpleasant piece of work. I mean, don't get me wrong. Man is, is not... Not a nice person, but you know. Hey, Nora, how you doing? Hi. What's up to you? I like the work at the church. Preaching and plant cultivation are my favorite things. That makes sense. You also like the pretty things, and I brought you one here. Wow, thoughtful of you. Oh, I really like it. You're very welcome. All right. Oh, you know what else we need? We need an irrigation tower because. Because we are going to go out and see Siwa and improve our friendship. Um, I'm not sure how many others. I think I've got to improve the friendship with... We've done 
Mr. McD. Uh, Higgins, I mean, is at zero, but I don't think we can actually make friends with him yet. I'm hoping, I've got my fingers crossed, we might be able to melt his hard, hard and nasty shell. All right, Antoine we're BFFs with. Mr. Isaac needs some more bookmarks. Nora we're working on. Toby needs apples. So Isaac, Toby, and Remington maybe. And Erwa, what is Erwa like? Oh man, I forgot what Erwa likes. I had it too. Salad, I think. I can't remember. I know. I didn't bring the pig. If I brought the pig, this would be a lot quicker. And away we go. So, as we play through this last little bit, let's, um, there's May. I need to get some more stuff for photo albums, so I should probably make some more photo album stuffs. And, yeah. So see what Erwa, Dawa, Erwa, how you doing? I guess we're publishing a story about Moose's massage chair. This is what passes for news now that the whole all sorts thing has run its course. Hi. Hey, hey. I doing? read an article about how Walnut Groove wants to take advantage of the better roads. Be oh, I'm hoping we get to see some of our favorite singers a little bit more. All right, I'm just going to do a quick check through to see if anything. Ah. Oh. Coffee was it coffee tables for him as well? Thank you. Oh, Never expected tables. you to give me this. You're really welcome. Okay, so Erwa really likes coffee tables if you're building your friendship with him. Like Rousseau. Okay, so let's go next door because the best thing I've found for his bro is fruit salad. Sanwa. I wish Musa would make a massage chair with easy head access so I could put him in my barber shop. Nobody ever thinks of the small businesses and we're the backbone of the free cities. Hi! Hi! I asked Oaks who cuts his hair. He's his head of boo does. I know, and that still blows your mind because you are still talking about it. Fruit salad for you. It really is a nice present. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right. So all of these little things that kind of help you... Um, I don't know, just get through in the game. Okay, Remy likes his belts. Do I actually have any belts on me? I have two left. Alright, Remy, will you stop jumping up there? Moose's massage chair sounds like a great idea to me. I'm hoping it will help with my bad knee. Hi. Hi, how you doing? You know what, it's really funny you should mention that you would need a leather belt because... Here you go. You're welcome. Okay, who have we got? We have Brat 1 and Brat 2. Molly! Hey, how you doing? All my clothes were handmade by my mom. That's pretty cool. Do you know what I got? I have got something handmade by me. You're welcome. Huh, Dolly. Hello. How are you? Miss Lucy is so annoying. Uh-huh. Miss Lucy is probably not the only one. Now, what does Dolly like? Dolly likes her apricot. Dried apricot. There was something else she liked. She wasn't fluffy scarves and it wasn't silk scarves. And I don't remember. Huh. Alright, I'm gonna have to look her up again. I'm just gonna give her some rainbow lemonade. A cousin? Thanks! Okay. That's that was insincere kid. Even I could tell that. Let's, let's go and talk to Petra. Oh man, Dimitri, if you run over my head one more time, I swear. Oh, there is going to be trouble. There's, there's going to be robot bits left, right and centre and I'll be apologising to Merlin again. Off like last time. Okay, so I don't really need to gift these guys. They're good, they're good, they're good. Alright, so that's a, a nice array of BFFs. Mr. Isaac is the one I missed. So Mr. Isaac, Toby... Uh, and I've forgotten what Mars likes. Whoop! See, 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 Dimitri who runs over you every single time. Honestly. Uh, where are we going?
All right. So why don't I head for home? Let's just grab the pig. Try not to run May over. Oops. Jack, how you doing? Hello. Chapter My two. sister really believes in the Church of the Light. It's all right, mate. Tolerance is a good thing. Thank you. Never expected you to give me this. You're welcome, Jack. I just ran out of snake boxes, okay? Man, Albert, I just wish you and Sonia would deal with that. You know what? Speaking of dealing with things, I forgot to get toys for the kids. You never know how valuable a little ducky is until you don't have one. Then you're in trouble. Alrighty, and I need to do my hundred, my hundred badges too. So we'll do that while we're at it. I know every time it, it's like, wow, well, kid, this is the most expensive ducky I own. Alrighty. Every time I think I'm going to get through and not miss anything, that's when I miss. Alright, 25. <laughs> it's like I'm carefully missing all of them. Uh, 41. It's like we're going to do an extra game today because I am hopeless. should have been my last round. I think that was 100%. I could be wrong. Did I miss on that last round? I don't remember. I haven't missed on this round yet. Now's when I usually will though. Because I just noticed it. Let's see. Alright, that's not bad. That is our 100 badges. How are we doing for night badges now? 748 so i only have 900 to go so nine more days of 100 badges a day will be good let's interrupt toby or Django. it's such a miracle that our buildings were still standing after those huge snores ha <laughs> i worried a lot hey hey on guard huh watch out young one your reaction speed is way too slow. Oh, I've got good reason today. Higgins has rattled me good. Yes. Oh, this is something special, my friend. You're really welcome, Mr. Jingo. Now, recipes. How are we going? Uh-huh. Milk. Creamy salmon stew. We're just going to have to work our way through all the variations. Hi. Toby, how are you Jingo doing? is the best teacher ever. And he still hasn't taught you manners. You know what? You're not careful, that man's going to wrap the flat of his sword around your tail end. There you go. Honestly, stuffing leaves down Jack's shirt, Mr. Jengri would definitely not approve. Look at this. Beautiful. Alright, I know. I was thinking of taking a photo of that, but maybe not. Alright, we need to do some crafting. Because I, yeah, I just have not done a lot of crafting lately. So let's go into our master storage, drop a few, few things off, and have a quick look to see what we've got. Alrighty. So basically, uh, I need to be able to make some photo albums for me, and Carol really likes jewelry boxes, so... Actually, May really likes these as well, so I don't have any yellow bow ties. I know where to get them. 
I don't feel like having a Kilden fest today. This looks pretty good though. Let's um let's see if we can turn out a hundred of these things. So we keep running out of gifts for me. Let's uh let's go and grab some dark coffee tables. I need some more copper pipes. Alright, I'm gonna ask for a hundred of these. And uh, we're just gonna have a look and see why I don't have any copper pipes coming through. So I'm just pretty sure I put some on. Alright, no, I'm wrong. I didn't put any on that would be why they're not there. I'm down to twelve. Alright, we need to go mining. Let's ask for a hundred of these things, which means I need 600 copper ores. Ah, oh, that's not hard, we can do that. And actually now we're using copper ore instead of copper bars because we upgraded the machinery. So I'm thinking, uh, I know I'm also short of, um, what do you call it? I'm also short of... Wow, my brain has turned into jello. Titanium. So uh, we might go and spend the rest of the evening mining out whatever ores we come across in the, uh, in the Somba Marsh Ruins, because we've got all of the relics, so we don't have to chase those, we just have to chase the, the, the minerals. So we'll head this way. There we go. Get that done. Yes. Wow, I haven't been here for a while. I'm actually really curious too to see if maybe that cave is open again still. We could go in and check out what else is in there. But first we're after... Well, that's it. That's our start. Let's grab some copper. We're going to go for a thousand. Actually, I'm going to use, how much did I say, 600, so maybe we need to go for a bit more than a thousand. Alright, well let's just see how many we can nail down. That's iron, I won't say no to that either. I probably should say no to iron, but hey, is that? Oh no, I think I just destroyed a patch of titanium. Let's get that iron out. So the trick is, is if you don't have your little light on uh, on a metal when you drill, you are not going to drill the metal. You are going to drill whatever your light hits. All right, let's just fly our way back up here. Sure, that's copper or magnesium. That's magnesium. Yeah. Let's see if we can get our light on that. Let's see, was that all that was up there? Man. Actually, hang on a minute. That that looks like, like titanium up there. Look to the skies. There is titanium in the roof. Yes, there is. Can I get it though? Alright, I'm gonna just see if I can drill across to it. that is hard to get to. That's that's really unfair game. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way. And then I'm up. Oh, that's not going to do any good, is it? No, because I can't... Oh yeah. Alright, I can't target it real well, but we're getting some of it, which is more than we were getting before. That's just cheating. Alright, so that looks like uh, we got a goodly portion then. Let's just go over here and we'll grab because I need to need to be able to monitor how much I've got. So where's my copper gone? There it is, 500. And there's my titanium. That's, that's more than I thought I had. That's manganese. I don't care about it, but I do care about aluminium as well so all right let's go find some more of that purple stuff if we can it can be fairly elusive as you've seen all right 
This, however, this... Wow, it can be elusive and there it is right in front of me. this coffin. I'm out of I'm out of stamina. Where are my apples? Right. Watch out, crazy lady with the drill. Some rest. Well, that's okay. I've got at least 1,000 copper, but I'm not going to get home on time, so I might as well just take what I can of this copper, this other copper, because I'm going to be making more than um, And I was hoping that that was purple for a while, but it's not. All right, let's get going with this. Well, we found out more of Higgins' story this episode. Tell you what, if you like this episode, please hit like, and if you want to see more, please hit subscribe. But uh, I think we're going to call it a day there. Thanks for hanging with me, guys, and uh, we'll see what this game brings next episode. Take care out there. See you around.